Hey guys, Sunkiller here with Black Brothers Audio and today we're going to show you how to make a very cool melodic bass. So without talking any longer, let's hop into Vital and let's get started with this tutorial. So this is the bass that we're going to be making today. So this bass is very common in melodic dubstep and it's used in between chord stacks to help fill up the space and keep the drop moving. One example of this sound can be heard in the drop of Days to Come by Seven Lions. So I'm going to start this patch by going into Oscillator 1 and I'm going to be using one of the wave tables from Odyssey, our premium melodic dubstep pack. Now these presets and wavetables are specifically made for melodic dubstep and melodic bass. So if you're looking to make either of these genres or want a more melodic flair to any genre you make, I highly recommend grabbing a copy of Odyssey. As always, there's a link in the description so you can check it out yourself. For the second oscillator, I'm just going to be using a simple square wave. I'm just going to start by setting the octaves. The first oscillator is going to be 24 semitones, while the second octave is going to be just 12 semitones. So what that means is two octaves for the first oscillator, one octave for the second oscillator. And now I'm going to start listening to the area that I want to choose with the wavetable. <laughs> And this is sound very interesting so far, not very melodic dubstep or anything, but that's going to change very quickly once I scroll here. That sounds very cool. That sounds way more grittier, way more bassy if you ask me. So now I want to bend this first oscillator, something like this perhaps. Very cool. Now I'm going to be using a filter here. I'm just going to take down the resonance since we don't need a lot of resonance. I want to add a bit of drive to this. And I want oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 to be affected by the filter. So I'm just going to take it completely down. So right now you can't hear anything, but that's going to soon change when I once I start adding some automation with the envelopes. This sounds very short, very very quiet, very subby. So I'm just gonna add a second macro here. There we go. I really like how that sounds. It gives it a more bassy tone and now with this filter we can automate this inside of our DAW so now we can have more macros to adjust and automate throughout the track to give it more variety in the, in the song and not make it dull or boring or repetitive by creating even more automations very cool so nothing much else is going to be happening here on the oscillator and filter section it's a basic patch nothing too complex however by adding these effects it's going to create a very cool tone so what we are going to be doing is we're going to be adding a tonal delay by setting here the delay to seconds and lower it down until we're at about 19 seconds, something like that. 
very cool and now I'm gonna adjust the cutoff and the spread here so I want just the high end area something like that very cool I'm gonna add more macros so I want here this macro which is gonna control the amount of tonal delay that we're gonna have we're gonna call it the middle knob we should also name this one the cutoff knob and then we're gonna add this knob here which is gonna control the tone so it's gonna be called the tone knob very cool Now I'm going to add some drive here. It's already sounding very sharp, very metallic, which is the tone we want. I'm going to take down the mix a little bit for the distortion. I'm going to add a bit more drive here on the filter. And I want to try a digital filter and see how that sounds. Now I think it has too much envelope automation, so I'm just going to turn it down a little bit to my liking. And too much of the second oscillator, so I'm going to turn it down as well. very cool so I'm just gonna turn down the drive now I'm gonna add a knob here for the drive which is gonna add a bit of distortion as well as with this one so I'm just gonna set it somewhere like there and then crank it up to something like this and call this one the drive knob And creating macros is a very cool feature here. It's very important for you to be doing because this gives you the chance to create an automation throughout all your track, as I mentioned earlier during the video, which makes it very dynamic, very interesting because you can make the same patch sound different, which is why in all of our patches in Black Lotus Audio, we add these macros so you can play around, change the sound to your liking, and have some very nice ways of altering the sound during your track. And there we have it, a very simple melodic bass tutorial. If you like the sound that we created here today in Vital, you should definitely check out our website, blacklotusaudio.com, where we have a very awesome melodic dubstep Vital pack. If you enjoy that kind of content, also leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Don't forget, thanks for watching and until next time.